What's up guys, welcome back. We officially made it through Thanksgiving and we're on our way towards Christmas. And for me, for Christmas dinner, I like to switch it up a little bit from Thanksgiving and I typically make a pot roast. So today I'm gonna show you a pot roast recipe but not the traditional version. I'm gonna show you my recipe for Mississippi pot roast. This recipe is absolutely packed with flavor and it only has a few ingredients. It's perfect for your Christmas dinner or for comfort food season. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these ingredients. And when I say it's just a few ingredients, obviously I mean it. Here we have a three pound chuck roast. This is absolutely perfect for a pot roast. When you look for a chuck roast, you want it to be even in shape, which, which this one is. And you also wanna look for those white lines of fat. That's gonna let you know that there's gonna be good marbling, good fat content, and a lot of flavor. We got one stick of butter, cause it's the holiday season. Everything needs a stick of butter. We got a ranch packet, a au jus gravy packet. Now, typically I'm not a fan of getting my seasonings out of packets, but this recipe is foolproof and these two are the way to go. We've got two onions, a head of garlic, some rosemary and thyme, and the star of the show, which makes this the Mississippi pot roast, is pepperoncinis. All right, my friends, it's time to season up this chuck roast. As we said, this is a three pound chuck roast. When you're looking for it at the store, you wanna to try to find one that's pretty uniform in shape and size, not one that's fat on one end and thin on the other, that way it doesn't, if it's like that, it's not gonna cook as evenly. So this is what you're looking for right here. The more lines of fat you see, the more flavor you'll have. We're gonna season this up nice and simple today with my all-purpose seasoning. My AP seasoning is low sodium, which is something I wanna call out. So whatever you're using at home, make sure it's low sodium because the ranch packet and the au jus gravy packet both have quite a bit of sodium in there. So no need to go too crazy on the salt. We're just gonna season this up with my all-purpose. You could hit it with a little salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, stuff like that. You wanna be real generous with the seasoning though because this is a three pound piece of meat. So you need to treat it like such. Make sure you season the sides real good. Flip it over, show the other side some love. Now once you have your roast seasoned, we're gonna let that sit for about 30 minutes. You can put that back in the fridge you can really do this overnight if you want to and really allow that flavor to really penetrate the meat. But at least 30 minutes, you wanna season it in advance before we sear it off. We're gonna set that aside while we prep our veggies. All right, next up is the onions and the garlic. We're gonna basically just quarter these onions, guys. We wanna put these onions in there for flavor. All right, so and we're basically just gonna quarter these onions up and then I'm gonna use this whole head of garlic. This is gonna act as a bed or a nest for our roast to sit on. It's also obviously gonna add some flavor, but it's gonna make sure the roast is not making full surface area contact with the bottom of our Dutch oven because we don't want it to scorch or burn. So just chop your onions up like that. And I'm gonna cut my garlic like so. And we'll place that right in there as well. That way the roast and the gravy can absorb all that garlic flavor. And then we'll just discard it at the end. All right guys, I got my oven preheated to 325. We have our Dutch oven here, about two tablespoons of avocado oil in the bottom. Our roast has been seasoned for at least 30 minutes. And we're gonna place that right in the skillet or the Dutch oven. Press down firmly for maximum surface area contact because we need to develop some crust and some flavor. We're gonna give that about three or four minutes per side. Make sure you get a nice crust on there, a nice golden brown color, and then we'll flip it over. All right, guys, that's exactly what you wanna see. You wanna see a nice, deep, dark brown color, a good crust, a good sear. That's gonna provide three things. It's gonna provide color, like we just said, texture and flavor. Very important, don't skip the searing step. Another three minutes on the other side. Beautiful color on both sides. All right, so as you can see, we have tons of fawn developing at the bottom of the skillet. I'm gonna go ahead and add that stick of butter in there. All right, guys, so we've gone ahead and melted our stick of butter. To that, we're gonna add our two onions and our head of garlic. 
So let that cook a little bit, start to soften up. And that'll be where we place our roast. All right, so to that, we're gonna go ahead and add our fresh herbs, the kind you cook with, not the kind that cook you. Got a little rosemary and thyme. I'm gonna add a few pepperoncinis to the party. A little bit of the pepperoncini juice as well, about a half cup of that. Then add the roast back. The rest of those pepperoncinis. Next up, we're going in with about three cups of chicken broth. Just till it reaches about the shoulders of the roast. You don't want to fully submerge it. Maybe three and a half, depending on how big your roast is. And then really the final two ingredients, guys, are the au jus gravy mix and the ranch dressing mix. So we're gonna dump that right on in there, cover it with the lid and place that in the oven at 325 degrees until it's fork tender. Now you can do this in the pressure cooker. It'll take you about an hour or you can do it in a slow cooker, which is like the opposite of the pressure cooker, and it'll take you anywhere between four to six hours. Same steps apply though. You wanna go ahead and sear it first and then add it to your slow cooker or crock pot. As this cooks, it'll start to make a delicious gravy. Those peppers will cook down, provide a little acidity. Tons of flavor in this one, guys. You gotta give it a try. Go ahead and cover it with the lid, pop it in the oven. All right, my friends, this is what we're looking like after just over three hours for this three pound chuck roast. It's absolutely as tender as it can be. As you can see, just shredding right apart with a fork. That's what you wanna see. So we're gonna go ahead and plate this up. I'm gonna show you guys how to thicken this sauce up, turn it into a nice little gravy. We're gonna plate it up with some mashed potatoes. You can serve this over rice. Oh man, just look at that. All right guys, so we've gone ahead and stole a little bit of the liquid from our Dutch oven. We're gonna bring that up to a simmer. Here I have what's called a slurry, which is basically just a combination of cornstarch and cold water, equal parts. This is gonna be a thickening agent. So all you gotta do is bring this up to a boil, hit it with your slurry, and watch your gravy thicken up beautifully, just like us during the holiday season. All right, so as you can see, we're approaching a gentle boil. And in goes the slurry. Once it comes back to a boil, you'll have yourself a nice, beautiful consistency gravy. So as you can see, she's thickening up already. Just let it boil for a second or two. And it doesn't get more flavorful than that, folks. Once it coats the back of a spoon, that's what you want to see. All right, guys, so we've gone ahead and plated this up over a mound of mash, got the pot roast on top, a couple pepperoncinis. This is the part where you got to brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys, looking good. So add enough gravy to the plate. And now for my favorite part of the job, we're gonna go ahead and get in here for the taste test just to show you again how tender this is. It's just shredding right apart with a fork. You guys know the drill, moment of truth. Here goes nothing. means it's officially comfort food season i said officially twice what's up guys welcome back yes. this recipe only has a few ingredients and in my opinion well, thanksgiving so. we're full speed ahead towards christmas it has a few ingredients it's i keep wanting to say absolutely so much